the next slide, we'll take a look at an illustration of what Jack and Diane could be dealing with, depending on the type of account that these investments are held in. So as we said, let's say they have half a million dollars. And Jack and Diane are currently holding that in a taxable brokerage account. Okay? So their investments are held in a taxable brokerage account. It's not a bad thing. It's just a plain vanilla investment account. It doesn't really offer any tax advantages though, okay? So the way that a taxable brokerage account works is they have their investments and each and every year as they're reallocating, as they're recognizing dividends in the portfolio, as they're recognizing capital gains, each and every year they have to settle up with the IRS. Okay, so conceivably they're reducing their wealth or paying taxes from the portfolio in order to meet those tax consequences. So if Jack and I in, you would have a tax consequence of 2% a year, which doesn't really seem like a lot. 2% of the portfolio value is what they owe in taxes each year. It doesn't seem like a ton. But if they're settling up with the IRS every year for the next 20 years, they're essentially leaving $665,000 on the table. Because the way the taxes work, as you're taking money from the portfolio, every dollar that you take from the portfolio is a dollar that is no longer invested. It's no longer compounding on your behalf. So by paying taxes each year, it's essentially siphoning off money from, from your overall portfolio. It's a leak within your portfolio. So what could Jack and Diane have done? Anybody have 401ks, 403ks, IRAs? Those are great solutions. They're tax-advantaged investment accounts that prevent the leakage, prevent the tax consequences on an annual basis in order to keep as much money invested in the account as possible. So the point being is that we want to capitalize on that $665,000 at, at the end of 20 years. We want as much to remain in the portfolio as possible. We want to be at the $2.1 million mark in 20 years as opposed to 1.4. And we do that by acting in a tax efficient manner. Finding tax efficiencies and tilting those scales where we can.